Right on Blogosphere today, we are talking about the changing nature of Indian pitches, especially over the last three, four years. The recently concluded India-Australia series saw both teams crossing the 300 mark just once each, which begs the question, is that necessarily better for Indian cricket? We've got Chetan Narula, a cricket writer from New Delhi, joining us. Thank you so much, Chetan. And also Paul Dennett, a podcaster from Australia. Paul, is the contest between the bat and ball more even now? Well, yeah, I remember the last time that Australia were in India back in 2013 and the pitches were massively in favour of the batsmen, some of the biggest scores I've ever seen in a one-day series. And then since the 2015 World Cup, a couple of rule changes have come in. They've got rid of the batting power play. You're now allowed an extra fielder out for the final 10 overs. And, yeah, this time round, the pitches were also more in favour of the bowlers and that brought the balance back. Now, I'm supposed to say that that's a great thing, that we're all for a good, even contest between bat and ball. But if I'm being completely honest, I actually preferred the 2013 series. I think when it comes to one-day cricket, my inner child comes out. I just want to see sixes and fours. Test matches, by all means, give the bowlers a lot more help. But in one day, I just want to see the ball disappearing into the crowd. A change in the rules and a change in the pitches. Shetan, let me come to you. Do you think that the competition between the bat and ball is slightly more leveled now? Over the last couple of years, we have seen that captains have become uh, you know, more intelligent or uh, they've adapted better to these rules. The power play has gone. There is now an extra fielder outside the 30-yard circle in the last 10 overs. And uh, especially in the last year or so, we have seen on slower tracks, the use of spin in the middle overs has become very prominent, as well as the role of death bowling in the last 10 overs. That has become very, very crucial in ODI cricket as well. So it's not just about the slow pitches, it's also about different factors contributing uh, towards the whole ecosystem in ODI cricket, uh, which is why we are perhaps seeing scores of 280, 300, and which are also not easily chaseable. Uh, personally, I prefer such ODIs where teams have to chase 280, 300, and, they have to, and the batsmen have to negotiate both pace and spin on a difficult wicket because you know it sets it sets the ODI game apart from the T20 game. Uh, yes, the 2013 series was very exciting to watch. You had scores of 350. You, they were being chased down with aplomb. Uh, but you know you can only watch it once. You cannot watch it again and again and again. Otherwise, it becomes too monotonous. It becomes too much like T20 cricket. Whatever said and done, I think the inner child in all of us just wants to see those big sixes, those big fours and those big scores. But thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen, on Blogosphere.